Today I'm going to tell you about Earth Day. Earth Day is an annual event celebrated on April 22nd. On January 28th, 1969, a well drilled by Union Oil Platform A off the coast of Santa Barbara, California, blew out more than 3 million gallons of oil spewed, killing over 10,000 seabirds, dolphin, seals, and sea lions. As a reaction to this natural disaster, activists were mobilized to create environmental regulation, environmental education, and Earth Day. Among the proponents of Earth Day were the people on the front lines of fighting this disaster, Selma Rubin, Mark McGinnis, and Bob Bottoms, founder of Get Oil Out. On the first anniversary of the oil blowout, January 28, 1970, Environmental Rights Day is celebrated when the Declaration of Environmental Rights is read. It has been written by Rod Nash during a boat trip across the Santa Barbara Channel while carrying a copy of Thomas Jefferson's Declaration of Independence. The organizers of Environmental Rights Day, led by Mark McGinnis, had been working closely over a period of several months with Congressman Pete McCloskey, a Republican from California, to consult on the creation of the National Environmental Policy Act, the first of many new environmental protection laws sparked by the national outcry against the blowout oil spill and on the Declaration of Environmental Rights. Both McCloskey, Earth Day co-chair with Senator Gaylord Nelson, and Earth Day organizer Dennis Hayes, along with Senator Alan Cranston, Paul Ehrlich, and David Brower, and other prominent leaders, endorsed the declaration and spoke about it in the Environmental Rights Day Conference. The first Earth Day celebration took place in 2,000 colleges and universities, roughly 10,000 primary and secondary schools, and hundreds of communities across the United States. More importantly, it brought 20 million Americans out into the spring sunshine for peaceful demonstrations in favor of environmental reform. It now is observed in 192 countries and coordinated by the nonprofit Earth Day Network. Served by the first Earth Day of 1970 organizer, Dennis Hayes, according to whom Earth Day is now the largest secular holiday in the world, celebrated by more than a billion people every year. Mobilizing 200 million people in 141 countries and lifting the status of environmental issues onto the world stage, Earth Day activities in 1990 gave a huge boost to recycling efforts worldwide and helped pave the way for the 1992 United Nations Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro. Unlike the first Earth Day in 1970, this 20th anniversary was waged with stronger marketing tools, greater access to television and radio, and multi-million dollar budgets. Two separate groups formed to sponsor Earth Day events in 1990. The Earth Day Foundation, assembled by Edward Furia, Project Director of Earth Week in 1970, and Earth Day 1990, assembled by Dennis Hayes, the National Coordinator for Earth Day 1970. Senator Gaylord Nelson, the original founder of Earth Day, was honorary chairman for both groups. The two did not combine forces over disagreements about leadership of combined organizations in compatible structures and strategies. Among the disagreements, key Earth Day 20 Foundation organizers were critical of Earth Day 1990, for including on their board Hewitt Packard, a company that at the time was the second biggest emitter of chlorofluorocarbons in Silicon Valley and refused to switch to alternative solvents. Earth Day 2000 combined the ambitious spirit of the first Earth Day with the international grassroots activism of Earth Day 1990. This was the first year that the Earth Day was used, the internet, as its principal organizing tool and it proved invaluable nationally and internationally. According to Nelson, the moniker Earth Day was an obvious and logical name, suggested by a lot of other people in the fall of 1969, including he writes both a friend of mine who had been in the field of public relations and a New York advertising executive, Julian Koenig. Koenig, who had been on Nelson's organizing committee, has said that the idea came to him by the coincidence of his birthday with the day selected April 22nd, Earth Day, rhyming with his birthday. The connection seemed natural. The first Canadian Earth Day was held on Thursday, September 11th, 1980, and was organized by Paul D. Teneri, then a graduate student in engineering, physics, solar engineering at Queen's University. Flora MacDonald, the MP for Kingston in the islands and former Canadian Secretary of State for External Affairs, officially opened Earth Day week on September 6, 1980, with a ceremonial tree planting and encouraging MPs and MPPs across the country to declare a cross-Canada annual Earth Day. Earth Day reminds us of how fragile the Earth is and we can help by recycling, not littering, not hunting, not using too much water, not polluting land and water, saving electricity,
planting native plants in our gardens, not releasing exotic and invasive species into the wild, which is illegal, placing up bird houses and bat houses, not cutting down trees. If you can learn to do all of this, you will help the earth and ending up with a healthier and cleaner earth. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode.